locked in myself. I'm with the SIS. Password Jamstone. You agreed to meet with us? Don't move. Just... Hell. I barely know how to fire one of these things. You have no idea how glad I am to see you. I've been hiding from that Jedi for weeks. What do you know about Kai Sazen? Let me show you something. I kept it with me as evidence. Dr. Cell, you haven't returned my calls. That's disappointing. The Jedi have plans for the Ragghouls, but I can't move forward without your support. Turn yourself over to the Nikto, or I'll make my case to you in person. She's not a Jedi. She already killed Dr. Vernon and Professor Vral when I couldn't fix some transmitter. I'm the last Ragghoul expert on Terrace. She needs you to complete a device for controlling Ragghouls? Of course she does. She's completely crazy. If that's yours, I can wait. What is it? Cypher. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I believe I have a solution for both you and Dr. Cell. Care to explain that? Let me speak to the scientist, please. Who is this? Dr. Eckhard Loken. I'm gonna be your assistant, and be captured in your place. Are you joking? I wouldn't joke about this, Doctor. I saw your lecture on xenometaphoric epidemiology, and a mind like yours should be kept safe. Imagine, Kai Sazen takes me instead of her and brings me to the ultra-wave transmitter. I signal you and you find everything you want in one place. Would Kai Sazen believe this man is your assistant? What's the difference between a Hirano strain of the Rakul virus and the Bozan variant? Aside from the phenotypic switching controversy? She'll believe him. Doctor, please contact the authorities in an unsecured channel. Tell them your assistant is at these coordinates and must be found. It's your life on the line. Just be careful. Both of you. One final concern. Once I'm captured, the Republic may attempt to jam my signal to you. I suggest you use this time to sabotage their jamming stations. By the time you're done, I'll surely be in enemy hands. Cypher, this is Dr. Lokin. I hope you're receiving this because I'm not going to get another chance. I'm inside Kai Sazen's base. She and her people are housed in an abandoned tunnel system in the main Republic compound. The ultrawave transmitter is here. When you arrive, I'll do my best to cause a ruckus, but please hurry. This is base command to Leggett. I just heard from Agent Chance. His injuries are extensive. You are now primary on this mission. Is Chance going to recover? He'll live. Whether he'll come back on duty, I don't know. Keyword, onomatophobia. Your new objective is to retrieve the ultrawave transmitter from Kai Sazen. I still want the Jedi taken down if possible, but she can't be our priority. I'm on my way to Kai Sazen's hideout now. May the Force be with you. Base command out. You left Tosla because I asked. You told your kin to fight for the Republic and be paid in land and weapons. You've done well. But I swore I wouldn't abandon you on that festering pusshole of a world. I chose and bear my message, and I'm coming to Terra soon. I never forced anyone to serve me. I didn't know what would happen when I killed the Spine Dragon. My master thought I should release you from the life debt. He didn't think anyone could believe in me. He didn't see your greatness, and he sure didn't see mine. Now he'll never have the chance. I call Thothash heretic. I call him murderer, kinslaver, and hot liquor. I should make an example of him. That's what the Jedi expect. That's what everyone expects. But Thothash spilled blood with us. We'll find a new Wanshak and go into exile together. If we both return, I'll forgive him. Sometimes I have dreams. 
They're about a world just for us, and people like us. I'm in charge, and the Chosen each have a continent. But they're dreams, not a prophecy or anything. I just want you to be happy. Hey, wait, you're actually recording? <laughs> In a hundred years, they won't remember me for the Treaty of Bresnan or how I saved Starbright Station. They'll remember me for Tosla. But I've done more than that. You'll remember for me. When I'm ready, I'll show you the things no one believes I can do. <laughs> The song of the universe becomes cacophonous. Be wary. Funny. When the Nikto said a girl was coming after me, <laughs> I thought she'd be a challenge. Kai Zazen, you stole the Ultrawave transmitter. I want it back. It is her. She who killed my brothers. Easy, Fentar. I'm not turning over the Godera device. I'm going to use it to control the Rakul colonies and then take over Terrace. And then... When I own this place, I'll take my cult and my rackles and make a nasty little paradise for anyone who swears loyalty. I thought Jedi was supposed to be passionless. I tried that. It bored me. Not now. I'm going to deal with you. I am going to kill you. And then back to business. You cheating little... The Nikto said you were good, but I'm still their savior. When I'm gone, they'll sing the death song of Threshalu. What do you say to that? It doesn't have to be this way. You can still go back to the Republic. <laughs> if they knew what I'd done, I ruined treaties. I let my master die. They locked me up forever. Maybe the Jedi can't forgive you, but the SIS needs everyone it can get. You're serious? You're not even on my side. I'm a Jedi. I don't want to be a spy. You made mistakes. Now it's time to acknowledge that. Alright, but I'm still the hero of Tosla. I'll be back for the Nikto someday. Oscar Stupa. <laughs> that I freed myself. I wanted the chance to look through Kai Sazen's research. I think you owe me an explanation. Indeed. But one thing first. While I was examining Kai Sazen's laboratory, I found this, the ultrawave transmitter. It's all yours. Your scent is purely human. How? You're understandably suspicious. As soon as we distance ourselves from the Republic Army, I promise to answer all your questions. I let you go now. You might slip away. Contact the military. Cordon off the planet. Look, I want to speak with you as much as you want to speak with me. Get a team in! Something's going on! That would be the Republic. May we reconvene later? Rendezvous at the Imperial Command Center. And don't get killed on the way. I'll do my very best. Dr. Loken. Cypher. I'd like to make a proposal. For five minutes, you and I pretend to trust one another. We lay our cards on the table. 
No lies, no hidden recorders, just truth. You have a deal. How do we start? I've been studying the Rack Ghouls for some time. I came to Taris to review the research of others. The same research Kai Sazen stole. My goal was to perfect a custom strain of the Rack Ghoul virus. Keyed to my own genetic structure, it currently allows free reversion between human and Rack Ghoul forms. I don't understand. You wanted to become a Rack Ghoul? There are advantages. Consider an unarmed operative who could enter a secure location and grow teeth. I'm merely a test subject. Of course, our superiors wouldn't agree with my choice of personal projects. It seems both of us lied about being sent here by Imperial Intelligence. That's a very interesting theory. Maybe you should explain. I don't think too much elaboration is wise. But your unusual contacts, your search for the ultrawave transmitter, I understand, Cypher, that working without official sanction can be a necessary evil. But given what we know about one another, I think I ought to stay close to you. An alliance rather than mutual destruction. I am not sure I understand what you're asking. We could both go to our superiors and expose one another's secrets. But who does that help? You let me take my research onto your ship, and I'll contribute my share. Besides, with Kai Sazen dealt with, I need something to keep myself occupied. You keep my secrets and I'll keep yours. In the meantime, we work together. I'll gather my belongings and meet you on board. Oh, and one last thing. About the ultrawave transmitter. You know that Nason Gadera was notorious for hiding secrets in his devices? Encrypted codes? Maps to lost projects? Just something I heard. I'll see you shortly. He's an odd man. And there's something in his eyes. We'll watch him. So remember how I was going to sell Anne's Michel to a bounty hunter and you let her go? I hope it was worth it. Finally convinced the buyer we weren't trying to scam him. You and Anne talk much when you were together? Swap stories about the old days? Gossip about me? She said you were a habitual liar, and that you'd only met in the past year. Yeah, figure she'd say something like that. She's kind of crazy. Whole thing got me thinking, though. I've had a lot of partners over the years. Her, Namro, guy named Rawl used to hijack Republic supply ships. He had money, he had brass. How you think you measure up? Hijacking Republic ships is only exciting the first time. I give you variety. Huh. Okay, I guess that explains one. Still, seems weird that with all the nasty, smart, rich people I've been with, I ended up with you. Fate's been kind to us. After all, our association has worked out well. You're trying too hard, Agent. Learn to take a joke. 